In this video, we are going to learn topic 6 polynomial, subtopic 6.2, where we focus on remainder theorem, factor theorem, and zeros of polynomial. Example 9. When px is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 2. Find the value of k. The statement divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 2. We can use remainder theorem since it has remainder. So the divisor is x minus 1, then x equal to 1, and p1 equal to 2 from this statement. So the polynomial become like this. Yeah, the divisor is x minus 1. So if we substitute the value of x here, then we get this part is become 0. That's why we have p1 equal to 2. So we substitute the value of 1 into polynomial like this. And then, you should pause the video and determine the value of k by your own. Okay, you should find the value of k now. So, the answer is k equal to 1 over 2. Example 10. When px x cubed plus px squared plus qx minus 9 is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. When px is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is none. Find the value of p and q. Since we have to find two unknown, meaning we should have two equations. So that two equation must be from these two information. So first information is divide by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. So we will use remainder theorem. So it becomes like this. So remainder theorem, p negative 1 equals to 3. Then if we write into the polynomial form, then we get p equal to q times x plus 1 plus r. So this remainder is equal to 3. So, what should we do after this is we substitute the value of x, that is x equal to negative 1 here, we substitute into the polynomial because we have this polynomial. So, try to get the first equation. You should pass the video first. Okay, let's say you have find the first equation. So what is your equation? So that's the first equation is P minus Q equal to 13. We denote it as a equation 1. Okay. For the second equation is divide by X minus 2, remainder is 9. So same as we get the first equation, so the second information, we can get second equation. So let's say we have uh, this equation polynomial. Okay, from remainder theorem, P2 equal to 9. Meaning, we will substitute this value of x, x equal to 2, into this polynomial. Okay, try to do by yourself. To get the second equation, okay, so do you get the second equation? Okay, let's see. So the second equation is 4p plus 2q equals to 4. Okay, what should we do? We solve these two equations by, by using uh, any method that you have learned. So this example I use substitute method to find the value of P and Q. 
So from equation 1, if I take P as a subject, then I substitute into the equation 2. Okay, put into the equation 2, so it's become 4 times 13 plus Q plus 2Q equal to 4. Okay, now I want you to find the value of P and Q by yourself and then I will tell the answer. You should pause the video. Okay, let's say you have found find the value. So the answer of P and Q is, so the Q is negative 8 and P is 5.